Hello, my beautiful friends. Welcome to your Mellow Flow. This Mellow Flow is going to be focused on your root chakra, located at the base of your spine, known as the Muladhara. And this chakra involves the security and stability within yourself. We're going to be practicing with a blanket and two blocks. And don't worry if you don't have the blocks. That's totally fine. Just get yourself nice and cozy, and maybe even light up a couple of candles or two. And as you set up your space, we're going to meet with the block, or if you have a cushion, slide it underneath your sacrum, just located at the very base of your spine. And as you find that position, just go ahead and close your eyes. Begin to tune in and connect to your breath. Bring an awareness into the sensations of your body. And allow yourself to set a gentle intention for your practice for today. Visualize a deep red light coming out of the base of your spine, that root chakra, as it glows outside of your physical body into your astral body and into your mental body. Repeat the following affirmations to yourself. I am safe. I am supported. I am being taken care of by the universe. I have abundance. Repeat those affirmations to yourself. Breathing in from the belly. Allow yourself to just be. Take a deep inhale through your nose. Audible exhale out the mouth. Sigh it out, let it go. Empty. (sighs) Deep inhale through your nose. Exhale out through the mouth, empty it out. (sighs) Inhale that which no longer resonates with your vibration. Exhale to let it go. (sighs) On your next breath in, straighten the left leg out, hug the right knee close towards your chest, staying heavy into that left leg, but not losing that activation into that left leg. Feel the front line from your hips all the way down to your ankle becoming engaged. On your next breath in, switch sides, straighten out the right leg, Hug the left knee close toward your chest. Again, staying active into that right leg, feeling the activation from your right hip bones all the way down to your toes or your ankle. 
feeling this decompression of the spine. Beautiful. Release the left leg. Bring the right foot closer. Press down onto your feet to lift the hips up. Slide the block away. Take a moment here. Feeling the grounding sensation of the earth, of the floor. And bring the soles of your feet towards each other for this supta baddha shape. Gently press the soles of your feet together, creating that activation. Take an inhale through your nose. On your exhale, drive the hips up towards the sky. <sighs> inhale, lower the hips down onto the earth. Exhale, drive the hips up towards the sky. Squeeze the glutes. <sighs> lower the hips down with control. Inhale, drive the hips up. Lower the hips down. Beautiful. One last time, just like that. Drive the hips up. And then lower the hips down. Hug your knees close in towards your chest. Tuck your chin towards your chest. Hide your heart. And slowly make your way towards the top of your mat. If you have a block, bring your block in front of you. And bring your knees just on top of your blanket or your towel. Gentle circles around the wrists. Three times to the right, and then three times to the left. Being animalistic in your movement, an opportunity to be free. Beautiful, go ahead and place your hands on top of the blocks. Gentle child's pose. Sit your hips towards your heels. Bow your chest and heart down. You can walk your fingertips towards the top of your blocks, staying long into the side bodies. And breathing into the back of your lungs. Try to fill the back of your lungs, your back body, with your breath. Take another moment here. On your next inhale, slowly tuck your chin further towards your chest. Roll your spine up piece by piece, segment by segment. Step your right foot to the outside of right hand. Come into this low lizard lunge. Can you bring your chest and heart forward? Maybe your eyes look down towards the earth. Or maybe you close your eyes just to really embody this shape, this very movement, this moment. On your next breath then, tuck your toes behind you. Lift the left knee up into a low lunge. Feel free to shift yourself forward and back, getting into your hips. And then lower the left knee down. Begin to straighten out your right leg, fold into Ardha Hanumanasana, half splits. Feel free to take the blocks with you along the way if that's going to help support you. Bow your chest and heart forward. Maybe you even move through the right foot, flexing that right foot towards your face, being curious in your physical vessel, getting out of your head and into your body. Beautiful. From here, bend into your right leg. Tuck your left toes behind you. Lift the left knee up, coming back into that low lunge. And we're going to straighten out through that right leg, just to step the left foot to the outside of left hand, fold forward. 
Feel free to bend your right leg and bend your left leg, swaying side to side, or find a moment of stillness. Can you ground down through your feet, all four corners of both feet, while sending your hips back, back, back into space, staying long through the spine? Maybe you grab opposite elbows here. Strong foundations, the root chakra is your foundation. Inhale, halfway lift, flatten your spine. Exhale, fold. Inhale, root to rise. Sweep your arms up high towards the sky. Drive your hips forward, Urvastasana. Exhale, hands meet at heart center. Inhale, reach up, look up. Exhale, hands meet at heart center. This time as we reach our arms up high towards the sky, step your left foot behind the right leg. Side bend over towards the right. Curtsy. Feel free to bend your left arm and using that left elbow almost as if it's cradling your head. And you stretch out through your left lung. Side bend over towards the right. Beautiful, step your left foot back to its starting position. Inhale, reach up, look up. This time exhale to fold, send your hips back into space. Halfway lift, inhale, flatten your spine. On your exhale, step your left foot to the very back of your mat, coming back into that low lunge. Drop your left knee down, straighten out through the right leg, Ardha Hanumanasana, you fold. Inhale, rebend into that right leg. Rise on up on top of your hips. Squaring the hips forward, can you bring your right arm just on the inside lining of your right leg? Then can you reach your left arm up? Imagine as if your fingertips are reaching up towards the ceiling. And then proceed to side bend over towards the right, reaching with that left arm over towards the right. Creating this resistance with the right leg into the right arm. Press the right arm into the right leg. Again, stretching out through that left lung, the left side body. Beautiful. Come out of it. Plant both palms down. Step your right foot back, child's pose. Coming back into that introverted space. Feeling strong and supported. On your next inhale, spinal wave your body forward just to step the left foot to the outside of left hand. Untuck the right toes, lizard lunge. Stay long through the chest and collarbones. Pull your heart forward. Eyes look down towards the earth. On your next breath in, tuck your right toes behind you, lift the right knee up high towards the sky. Beautiful, feel free to shift forward and back. Lower the right knee down, straighten out through the left leg, Ardha Hanumanasana, half splits. Feel free to take the blocks with you, fold. Maybe even creating a movement with the left ankle, targeting the sciatic nerve. Beautiful. Plant both palms down. Coming into that low lunge, lift your right knee up. Bend through that right leg. Just to act as a mini spring here, to step your right foot to the outside of right hand. Fold forward. Opposite hands grab opposite elbows, maybe even bend through the left leg and bend through the right. Creating a gentle rhythm. Imagining as if your legs are like the roots of a tree. Can you ground your roots into the earth further down?
Halfway lift, inhale, flatten your spine. Exhale to fold. Inhale, root to rise, head will be last. Sweep your arms up high towards the sky, Urdhva Hastasana. Exhale, hands meet at heart center, gratitude. Inhale, sweep up, look up. Exhale, more gratitude. As you sweep your arms up high towards the sky, this time step your right foot to the back of your left leg. Curtsy, side bend over towards the left. Stretching capacity of your right side body. Can you breathe, sending oxygen to fill that right lung? Option here to bend your right arm and lean your head back into the right arm. Option to even place your left hand on top of your right lung. Really feeling the breath, getting really connected. Beautiful. On your next inhale, rise out of it just to step your right foot to its starting position. Inhale, sweep your arms up. Exhale to send your hips back into space as you fold. Halfway lift, inhale, flatten your spine. On your exhale, gently step your right foot to the back of your mat into that low lunge. Drop the right knee down with control. Straighten out that left leg into Ardha Hanumanasana, fold. Inhale to rebend through that left leg. Using your left arm to press against the inner lining of that left leg. Sweep your right arm up, reaching through the fingertips, getting tall through the spine. Can you keep on reaching up? And on your exhale, side bend over to the left, pressing that left leg into the left arm, creating that gentle resistance, feeling strong into your foundations. On your next breath out, plant both palms down, step your left foot back, child's pose. Staying connected to your nature, to your essence nature. On your next inhale, roll your spine up. Step your right foot to the outside of right hand. Low lizard lunge, untuck the left toes. Really bring your chest and heart forward. On your next breath in, tuck your left toes behind you, lift the left knee up. Low lizard lunge. Drop the left knee down, straighten out the right leg, Ardha Hanumanasana, you fold. Inhale to rebend through that right leg. Tuck the left toes, lift the left knee up. On one exhale, step the left foot to the outside of left hand. Fold forward, Uttanasana. Connecting to your foundations, connecting to the inner linings of your feet, the inner arches, your toes. Halfway lift, inhale, flatten your spine. Exhale to fold. Inhale, root to rise. Arms stretch up high towards the sky, send your hips forward. Exhale, hands meet at heart center, gratitude. Inhale, reach up, look up. Exhale, palms together, gratitude. Inhale, reach up. Step your left foot behind the right leg, curtsy bend. Option to bend that left arm and lean your head back. Rise back out of it. Step your left foot to its starting position. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale to fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step your left foot to the very back of your mat. Low lunge. Drop the left knee down, straighten out through the right leg. Ardha Hanumanasana. Rebend into that right leg, rise up. Pressing that right arm against the right leg, reach your left arm up and side bend over towards the right. Maybe your eyes look 
towards the right to help facilitate that bend. Come out of it, plant your both palms down onto your blocks or onto your mat. Step your right foot back, sit your hips towards your heels, child's pose. On your next inhale, roll your spine forward. Step the left foot to the outside of left hand. Untuck the right toes, lizard lunge. Tuck the toes behind you, lift the right knee up. Low lunge. Drop the right knee down, straighten out through the left leg. You fold, Ardha Hanumanasana, feel that space. Rebend into that left leg, tuck the right toes behind you, lift the right knee up. On your next exhale, step the right foot to the outside of right hand, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, flatten your spine. Exhale, fold. Inhale, root to rise. Sweep your arms up high towards the sky, reaching up towards that divine energy. Exhale, bring that divine energy into your heart. Inhale, reach up towards the light. Exhale, bring the light to your heart. This time as you inhale, sweep your arms up, step the right foot behind the left leg, you side bend. Option to bend that right arm and lean your head back. Gently rise back out of it, right foot to its starting position, sweep your arms up. Exhale, you bow down, fold. Halfway lift, inhale, flatten your spine. On your exhale, step your right foot to the very back of your mat. That low lunge is where we'll meet. Lower your right knee down, straighten out through the left leg. Ardha Hanumanasana. Rebend into that left leg. Rise up. Pressing that left arm to the inner lining of that left leg. Can you reach your right arm up? Side bend over towards the left. Keep pressing that left leg into the left arm. Connect to your foundations. Finding the stability. Plant both palms down, step the left foot to meet the right. Child's pose, you fold. Bow down. Create almost as if you are creating your own moving meditation. Inhale, roll your spine forward. Step your right foot to the outside of right hand. Untuck the back toes. Lizard lunge. Tuck the left toes behind you. Lift the left knee up. Low lunge. Drop the left knee down, straighten out through the right leg, you fold. Rebend into your right leg, lift the left knee up. Exhale to step your left foot to the outside of left hand, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift, flatten your spine. Exhale, bow down, fold. Inhale, root to rise, Urvahastasana. Sweep your arms up, look up. Exhale, gratitude. Inhale, reach up, look up. Exhale, bring that gratitude to your heart center. Inhale, sweep up, step your right foot behind your left, side bend over towards the left. Option to use that right arm to lean your head back. Rise back out of it, right foot steps into its starting position. Inhale, reach up, sweep up. Exhale, you fold. Inhale, halfway lift. On your exhale, step your right foot towards the very back of your mat into that low lunge. 
Drop the right knee down. Straighten out through that left leg, Ardha Hanumanasana. Inhale to bend it through that left leg, using the power of your legs to rise out of it. Left arm against the left leg. Right arm reaches up and over, side bending over towards the left. Feeling how powerful your legs are, your foundations. Strong and stable. On your exhale, plant both palms down. Step your left foot back, child's pose. Bow down. Connect to your vibration. Observe your sensations in your body. Maybe the breath is becoming more available, less effort and more ease. On your next inhale, spinal wave forward to step your right foot to the outside of right hand. Untuck the left toes, lizard lunge. Tuck the left toes behind you, low lunge. Drop the left knee down, straighten out through the right leg, you fold. Ardha Hanumanasana. Look at this as a moving meditation here as you re-bend through the right leg. Step the left foot to the outside of left hand, you fold. Halfway lift, inhale, flam your spine. Exhale to fold. Inhale, root to rise, Urdhva Hastasana. Exhale, hands meet at heart center, gratitude. Inhale, reach up, look up. Exhale, gratitude into your heart. Inhale, curtsy, side bend right away. Bend over towards the right. On your next breath in, step your left foot to its starting position. Sweep your arms up, look up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Flatten your spine. On your exhale, step your left foot to the very back of your mat. Low lunge. Drop the left knee down. Straighten out through that right leg, Ardha Hanumanasana. Rebend into that right leg using the strength of your legs to rise. Bring your right arm to the inner lining of your right leg. Sweep your left arm up high towards the sky and side bend over towards the right. Let this feel nice. Plant both palms down. Right leg meets the left. Child's pose. Inhale, spinal wave your body forward. Step your left foot to the outside of left hand. Untuck the right toes. Lizard lunge. Tuck the right toes behind you. Low lunge. Lower the right knee down with control. Straighten out the left leg. Ardha Hanumanasana, you fold. Moving meditation here. Step your left foot forward, tuck the right toes underneath you, exhale to step your right foot to the outside of right hand, you fold. Ground down through the feet. As you inhale, flatten your spine. Exhale to fold. Inhale, root to rise. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, reach up, look up. Exhale, hands meet at heart center. Inhale, sweep up, step your right foot to the back of your left leg. You curtsy. On your next inhale, right foot to its starting position. Sweep your arms up, look up. Exhale, bow down, fold. Halfway lift, inhale, flatten your spine. On your exhale, step your right foot to the very back of your mat, low lunge. Drop the right knee down, straighten out through the left leg, Ardha Hanumanasana. 
create space. Rebend into that left leg, using the power of your legs, rise out of it. Using your left arm against that left leg, can you sweep your right arm up and over and side bend over towards the left? Maybe your eyes look up towards the ceiling, feeling how strong, capable you are. Beautiful. Plant both palms down. Left leg meets the right. Child's pose. Feel free to take this child's pose into an embryo pose. Bring an awareness into the shift of your energy. Locking in that energy into your root chakra. Glowing that deep red. Feeling the stability, the security. Being grateful for all that we have and the abundance in our lives. Take this moment to really connect to the earth. Feeling the earth element embracing you into oneness. Connect to your deep breath and remember who you are. Slowly roll your spine up. Tuck your toes underneath you. Gentle toes pose. Take a moment here to close your eyes. Take a moment here to root your feet, root your energy into the earth. Lean forward and just tap your feet behind you. Take your blocks by your side. And you could adjust your blanket if needed. You could feel free to sit on top of your blanket to elevate your pelvis a little higher. We're going to come into a wide leg straddle. You could use your blocks in front of you. Press down into the heels and fold forward. You reach your blocks, or you could come onto your forearms if that space is available for you today. Just melt your chest and heart down. Tune in. Slowly rise out of it. Bring your left foot to the inner lining of your right leg. Janusha Sasana. Option here to take your blocks to the side, or you could take your block just behind the sole of your feet. Bow down and fold over that right leg. Connect to yourself.
slowly rise out of it. Bring your right leg forward. Bring your left foot over the right leg. Reach your right arm up towards the sky. Gentle twists over towards the left. Allow your eyes to look over to the left. That, that is going to help facilitate this twist. Maintaining a nice upright spine. Sitting tall. Beautiful. Return to center. Cross your legs. Fold forward. You could place your blocks underneath your arms if you wish. Just bow down and forward. Finding this place of symmetry. Can you feel the connection to your root chakra? Feeling grounded. Strengthening, reconnecting your foundation. Slowly roll your spine up. Straighten out your legs into this wide leg stance into the straddle preparation. You could bring your blocks in front of you. You could also place the blanket underneath your pelvis if that's going to help support you. On your exhale, fold forward. Let the straddle be a resting position for you. Can you give yourself permission to just be? Slowly rise out of it. Bring the inner lining of your right foot to the inner lining of your left leg. Janusha Shasana. Inhale, sweep your arms up. Exhale to fold over your left leg. Option here to take your blocks either onto the side. You could always roll your blanket underneath your left leg. You could always bend that left leg if you wish. Or you could take the block just behind the sole of that left foot. Ground down through your sit bones. Feeling this magical connection to the earth, the oneness, the wholeness. Slowly rise out of it. Bring your left leg to the center. And bring your right leg over the left leg. Reach your left arm up, long through the fingertips. Exhale to twist. Allow your eyes to look over towards the right. Maybe your eyes try to look over your right shoulder. Making this twist more available. Again, feeling the grounding sensation of your sit bones into the earth. Nice tall spine. On your next breath in, return to center. Cross your legs and fold forward. You could come onto the forearms or the spaces available to you. You can always reach forward with the assistance of the blocks.
Walk your hands closer towards you. Straddle fold one last time in this position. Meld your chest and heart forward. Notice how much more space you have here. Feel free to take one of your blocks or your blanket and rest your forehead on top of the block if you wish. However you choose to feel, take it. Give yourself this permission to just be, to just be here. On your next inhale, rise out of it. Bring your heels closer towards you, bending through both legs. Go ahead and just windshield wipe the legs gently side to side. Feeling the freedom of your hips, of your feet. Come back to center. On your next breath in, reach your arms forward and slowly with control, lower your spine onto the earth. You could use the blanket as your pillow here. Straighten out through your legs and melt into your Shavasana. Allow yourself to surrender. And allow yourself to give yourself approval. Give yourself approval for showing up to your practice. Connecting to the stability and the security, the abundance that you have all the resources that you need to truly thrive. The universe is taking care of you. And repeat these affirmations to yourself. I am safe. I am secured. I am being taken care of. I have abundance. I am connected to my truth. Now visualize the red light coming out of your root chakra, the muladhara, at the base of your spine, glowing out into your physical body, your astral body, your mental body, and coming back into your physical body. Connect to the frequency in which you want to vibrate out into the world. A frequency of love, joy, play. Take as much time as you need in Shavasana.
It was an honor to share this breath, this moving meditation with you, wherever in the world you may be. I hope that you are feeling absolutely delicious, and I hope that you are feeling strong, stable, and connected, and grounded. And it's always really important to ground. It's always important to be in this timeline, in this reality, in this space. Please drop a comment below. I would love to hear from you, wherever in the world you may be. Continue to use your practice as a channel for source to flow through. You are the light. Thank you for your practice. Sending you love and light wherever in the world you may be.